I've learned that you don't really know someone until you divorce them. Amy Robach is reflecting on her lessons learned in 2023. In the January 2nd episode of her and boyfriend TJ Holmes's podcast, the pair are looking back at their rocky year that included breakups, a whirlwind, romance, and the public fallout of their relationship. In the episode, the former GMA3 co-hosts explain what the hardships of the year have taught them, with Amy sharing this revelation. I've learned in 2023 that you can lose your job, you can lose your reputation, you can lose friends, and you can lose most of your worldly possessions and still be happy. Well, you, lost, you lost most of your worldly possessions? I did. <laughs> there was a lot of selling going on. Oh, <laughs> A re- lot of giving away. <laughs> no, it was a great yard sale. It was a great yard sale. <laughs> and in a brief comment, the 50-year-old also sheds light on her split from Melrose Place alum Andrew Hsu. I've learned that you don't really know someone until you divorce them. Moving on. (laughs) Amy and TJ broke their silence about allegations that they'd had an affair in the December 5th premiere of their podcast. The couple, whose romance became the center of controversy when they were photographed during a getaway in November 2022, detailed their relationship for the first time, with TJ clearing the air about rumors that they'd been unfaithful to their former spouses. And so, to be clear, we were outed (laughs) as being in a relationship but everyone else thought we were being outed as adulterers, um, being outed as cheating on our spouses, and, and it wasn't the case. The couple were legally married to other people when they first made headlines. Amy and Andrew finalized their divorce in March. TJ and attorney Marley Feibig settled their divorce in October. Amy explains more about her split at the time the photos were taken, saying this. It was one of those things where any, everyone in my tight circle knew I was getting divorced. I took my ring off uh, early August. It was very clear to anyone who knew me that I was in the middle of the, a divorce. TJ is a much more private person than me and just chose to keep that to himself. But it was hard because anyone who was a viewer or anyone outside of a very small circle didn't know. TJ goes on to note that he didn't think to share the news of his relationship with Amy right away as he was still navigating the aspects of his split within his family. Look, at that point, my daughter, I mean, she's 10. I was still trying to get her adjusted to her new reality of her parents not being together. And I've been working on that for the past three, four months. So I wasn't I didn't want to spring on her in that early that, oh, yeah, by the way, you know, that Amy Robach, who's actually you've known since you were one, has been a part of the Well, I'm dating her now. I didn't want to do that to her. Despite their previous struggles, the couple made it clear they're moving forward in their lives together. But bottom line, we have not said this. Um, I'm in love with this woman and she's in love with me. And we are planning a life together.